Y'all do not know how bad I want to snatch this wig off. How am I gonna get my hair? What you say you look like? A cotton candy girl. A, a cotton candy girl? Y'all, yeah, this is literally my refrigerator. What woman doesn't love a bag? Go check, use your Corona or something like that, you know? Like this lip. I'm just doing something. They can't hear you. just don't know y'all just don't know um i did have plans to go to atlanta to check out some houses and apartments but that did not work out I'm so excited my husband finally got a job got a job got a job and let me not say that like <laughs> like he's just not been working uh for those of you who do not know um, I met my husband three years ago in Ukraine. Mm. Y'all just don't know. Yeah, I'm at to take this freaking wig off. Um, for those of you who do not know, me and my husband basically met when he was in a different country. He did the K-1 visa. Once you get here, you're not able to work to go through um, you know, getting your work authorization, then doing adjustment of status, and a lot of different things to be able to work while you're here. So I'm so happy that our paperwork is done. The job that he's working is going to be uh, transferable uh, to Georgia. So that's great. Really concentrate because my hair is itching so bad. Y'all do not know how bad I want to snatch this wig off. But I can't just yet. I need it for the rest of this week. Honestly, I don't have much to say this morning. Hey guys, so on my way to the social security office to change my last name. My husband got married October 20th. So it's been about four months and I still haven't changed my last name. So since today is kind of like a slow day, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. I don't know how bad my freaking head is itching. Y'all, oh my God. But look at these curls though, look at these curls. I have flexi rod. Took them out, you know, because I'm running air. I don't know why to take this band off. Maybe let me take it off. Even though my edges, whoo, they fly, especially these sideburns. But y'all, look, this thing, ooh, is still giving nothing but skin. Look. Besides me not fixing it with, you know, my edge brush, y'all look at this. Melted down. This shit itch so damn bad. Like, <laughs> the first time that I ever wore a wig. Well, yeah, this is my first wig that I ever wore. So I purchased this to go to um, the sneaker ball that I went to from Amazon y'all a hundred dollars and then i just got it restyled it looks so good but this wig i gotta take this wig off and wash my hair up under here because it is itching so freaking bad like so bad it don't make no sense like i've been beating my head to Death. And I'm also sad that my hairstylist has now got a full-time job. Kanisha, if you watching this, you are so wrong. Got a full-time job, so I want to take the wig off, but I'm like, how am I going to get my hair? How am I going to get my hair? I 
really was trying to give my edges a break with the braids y'all know me y'all these is just my go-to style because i like to change my hair well i like my hair to be done at all times i cannot stand when my hair is not done i don't feel right when my hair is not done so i kept braids for like two years straight like i would get my braids my girl kiana jennings did my braids they always lasted for a month sometime even two months depending on how i pushed it and then i would take them out and i would go right back there and get some more braids like literally within a day so i wasn't giving my hair time to breathe for like two years so my edges start thinning that's why i had to take a break from the braids and get braids and then again i don't i need to make a decision because how am i gonna have my hair for miami this is the start of the new vlog for this week thank you so much for coming back if you are new here welcome baby welcome if you are returning thank you so much for your support um i'm glad that you guys are um becoming a part of my family i have been trying to come up with a name for my channel something to call y'all so if y'all have any ideas please comment them down below i've been thinking rebies possibly my nickname is re like my family everybody calls me re and then like y'all are like my baby hold on Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. So my husband interrupted me, saying that I am trying to come up with a name. For you guys on my channel, we've been like holding on to the name like Reebies, and when I say Reebies, it, it means like Reese babies. Like I know you guys are not babies. I know that. <laughs> some of y'all are grown adults maybe older than me and i think uh babies or uh babe it means something very special something that you love something that you grow with some something that you know you just cherish and want to take really good care of so that's what i mean by babies rebies i just feel like that's that's really cute but if you do have any other ideas uh regarding like um what i should call my supporters please feel free to comment down below welcome 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 all my rebies I'm so glad that you are here. I am finally done working. I was supposed to cook something, but I'm not cooking anything at all. We about to go to nasty ass golden corral so y'all look y'all see i'm getting ready for a new haul for y'all getting ready and then i'm gonna do one for my husband so y'all stay tuned for the haul that's gonna be coming up came home from school and put this on what you say you look like a cotton candy girl. A cotton candy girl? Okay. <laughs> Y'all see her eyeshadow? <laughs> she said she looked like a cotton candy girl. She didn't look like that early, y'all, but it's fine. She can wear what she want to wear, do what she want to do, be who she want to be. Made it to go to Corral. Luke is about with their plate. Girl, what you got on your plate? I got salad. A little bit of. So we're about to eat. We're going to be back. 
Hey y'all, so I just picked y'all up because y'all, I literally just pulled up to the grocery store and it's empty. <laughs> the parking lot is empty. You know, it's tax time. People don't got their taxes. And ain't nobody going to the grocery store. Nobody. Except for me. I'm off, so I might as well just get get it out the way now. I need to pick up some stuff from my house. Oh my God, it is so bare in my refrigerator. I have nothing in the fridge. Fruit and juice. What juice we have? We don't even have no juice. Oh, you're talking about that watermelon, that sparkling water. Oh, guys, I found this watermelon sparkling water from Ross. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Yeah. Me and Zora is about to go into the grocery store and pick us some stuff up for the house. I did kind of want some sushi. I'm gonna go get a poke bowl. Poke poke or poke <laughs> p-o-k-e poke bowl i don't know come on zora let's go so y'all me and zora is back home oh when i tell y'all that is hot it is so freaking hot outside look at my fridge ready y'all before i went to the grocery store <laughs> y'all this is literally my refrigerator for going to the grocery store nothing the juice that zora was talking about the 100 percent juice watermelon it's a refresher i got these from ross um it tastes really good I paid 5.99 for it i had the whole box in the refrigerator and all y'all trifling so guys i'm unpacking my groceries I have some brussels sprouts got some meats i have some ribs a couple steaks i have some chicken i like spaghetti so i seen these and i just got these few snacks for the kids uh zora and my husband like these wafers they were two for four so i got that zora loves oreos and then some goldfish so i'm gonna put this away y'all know i had to get some fruit but i'm not cleaning it right now these eggs, they're $30 for $7.69. This is the Food Line brand. And uh, I think it's a good buy for 30 eggs. Eggs. Some hamburger meat. More vegetables. I don't know when Food Line started putting these in the plastic baggies. But I like it. Then I have apples to put in my fruit basket. I have more apples. I have these potatoes. I found these really cool cheeses. This is mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, and this is buttery. And I have some cucumbers that I like to snack on or also like have them for a salad. Um, Y'all, I found that you should not store your cucumbers in the refrigerator. Store them outside of the refrigerator so they can last longer. Seafood crab cakes because one, they were only $2.99. And I think this would be a quick meal to just hop in the air fryer, just pop in the air fryer and, you know, have for lunch or something. Then I also got some crab salad um, for snacking as well. I got this lasagna because this Rana, I really like their uh, pre-made noodles, pastas. Let me grab this. This can be an easy fix for the kids. Uh, this weekend or next week, you know, a quick lunch or something for the kids when I don't cook or buy food. It's to make homemade ranch for my cucumbers. Have some noodles, Zora's absolutely favorite. Pickles, Zora's, Zora's pick. I'm going to stop buying milk because we really don't drink it. This is February 4th. trash fruit kiwis and some mandarin oranges so we just gotta keep ranch this is gonna be for a meal later okay, and these are just the spaghetti noodles 
Um, and y'all, have you guys have pickled okra before? Y'all, I swear by these. They are so good. And it's a good snack. Laura's marshmallows. Hey guys, so I just got some chicken broth, some green beans, one of the Zora's favorite bread. Y'all, my husband is going to be so excited about this bread because he is Nigerian. If you don't know, most Nigerians like sweet bread. So this is his favorite. He's going to be excited because he did not buy bread in January or, I mean, the month of February is over now. Today is the 24th. So, he's going to be so happy to have bread. Zora, some juices. I see this honey cornbread that I wanted to try. I have never tried this before. Um, I just got it. I don't know when I'm making it. Y'all, look at this. Red lobster honey butter biscuits. Mm, I wonder what these will taste like. And then I also got this because they were two for four today. So I just got both of them. Some popcorn and some seasoning that I like. Found these snacks. Almond cluster, coconut clusters, some honey roasted cashews, flaming hot skins. Only because it said flaming hot. And I'm like, I want to try bananas. I always get my bananas kind of green because when they sit, they write really fast. Or purple onion. I have shredded cheese for something. I have bacon, sausage. Who likes these little snacks? These prosciutto and pepperoni with the cheese. So I got these for her. Multi noodles for a dish I'm gonna make. And then Zora's Lucky Charms. I have these Red Bulls, the variety pack. Because my husband does like to have these for work so instead of him going to the store buying one every day i just got these y'all then oh my god ugh, i seen this in the store it's called liquid death it's mountain water i love water so much every time i see a, a new water or one that i haven't tried i try it the label kind of scares me but and also the skull it definitely represents death that I don't like. But anyway, I'm going to try this water. I'm going to try it now. I love me some room temperature. Do y'all like y'all water? Hot or cold? It says liquid death. Mountain water. Drinking water from the Alps. Or is it Alps? Y'all... I don't know if I was thirsty. <laughs> I don't see any other ingredients, so I think it's just water. It's good. Y'all, my husband gonna come home and see these and thank his beer. <laughs> he gonna think that this beer, and he gonna pop it open. I'm gonna get him. 24 pack spring water, so I'm just gonna put some of these in the fridge. That's it, guys. That's all for the haul. Look at the refrigerator now, look. So, I mean, I know it's not your average, well, it is an average refrigerator, not how some people who got food stamps refrigerators be. This is my little fruit basket. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I forgot to turn these lights off. So, y'all, I am up now. It is about 12 it's friday it's my day off so i have a few errands to run let me just show y'all really quick my outfit i just have on this little windbreaker set um i purchased this when i was in germany um last year so it's just a quick little set i have this t-shirt that i got from target and then these Steve Madden shoes. Uh, my daughter bought these for me for, it was either my birthday or Christmas. And then I just have on some hoop earrings. And then y'all know my absolutely favorite necklace that has, whoop, 
that has me and my husband and then the kiddos on the back um so yeah just a slight little look today chill look i'm going to walmart Maybe give me something to eat. My bag, y'all know I'm really not a bad girl. Um, I'm trying to get into it because I know it fits the outfit as far as an accessory and bring everything together. And plus, it's easier, easy to carry your lip gloss and ID and things like that. And also... What woman doesn't love a bag? I do love a bag, but I don't like carrying them. So I just have my little regular little Louis that my husband got for me. I wear that all the time with just about everything. Um, but yeah, the reason, I mean, I like purses, but um, they're not my first thing because when I was younger, Guys, I used to always leave my purses everywhere. Like, just sit them down and leave it. I have lost so much money, so many things by doing that. So, I started putting in my mind, I don't want to carry a purse. I don't want to carry a purse. And so, that's how it's been. I am I always say, I don't want a purse. I don't want a purse. Because I'm so scared that I'm going to leave it and have all of my important stuff in there. So that's why I'm not really a purse girl, but I'm going to start getting more into purses because, you know, it just completes your whole outfit or whatever. And y'all know I love to put on a nice outfit, but I really don't care about the purse. Guys, yeah, so I'm just in my car. Um, I am going to... One of the besties that stay like where I live. I think we are we're gonna go to a lunch or something. Yes, yeah, not breakfast. We're gonna go to a lunch or something, and then yeah. So I will pick y'all back up in a few. Okay. Take this jacket off. I am back from lunch, brunch, with the bestie and sweet little Cairo. Zora from school, Walmart. I had two. Hello? Hey. Nothing. I'm about to film what I got from Walmart. I'm waiting for you. 
Okay, where you at? You already here? Show y'all really fast what I got from Walmart. I got these jeans uh, for my daughter. Y'all, it says $11, but these were actually, they rung up $5. Rung up $5. And then, and I got this plaid shirt, and this was $11. Y'all, it rung up $5 too. But uh, this other shirt, it says $11. It rung up $5. So Walmart has clearance on all of their um, winter stuff. We are planning to go on a cruise in April. So I found these little shorts uh, for Zora. Uh, these were, it's Barbie. So they were a little bit more expensive. They were $12. I got Zora this like little skirt also for the cruise. This was seven dollars, and I got Zora, Sonny, and me um, these little biker shorts. Um, this is for our cruise as well, and they were five ninety eight. Y'all, every year, every year I like to go to Walmart to get these, and yes, I do get them out of the kids section. My size, y'all see a XXL, which is a 18, extra large, really cute pajama set for the cruise as well. Something that I can wear if I want to like go out on the ship or something, like something that I can just put on. So this is like a cute little set. It has their pants. Y'all, this is a size medium too. So I'm going to see how they fit size medium in the pants and in the shirt also saw these little cute shorts um from walmart they were $7.98 i got these for me and zora uh, and these are in the boy section little things like this guys i do shop in the boy section zora will wear boy clothes i do too. they also had these flashlights that was 25 cent um, I thought these were just good to have in the cars, you know, in case, you know, for some reason you need a flashlight. So they were only 25. And then my husband just started a job. You can wear either all black or all blue. Um, so I just got him some blue and black shirts. I got him cut off shirts, you know, and a black one. This blue polo shirt that I had up. This is the black one. Um, and then like, this is just a blue shirt also. I have some blue like uh, shorts, think about shorts. Um, he can wear these as well since it's starting to warm up. So for the spring and summer, he can just throw on these belts. And I got a blue pair and a black pair. I only see the blue pair. Oh, here go the black pair. And here is the black pair. These were $7.98. These blue sweatpants. To wear these were I think these were six ninety eight or seven ninety eight. Black, these black track pants. These were fourteen ninety nine. A pack of t shirts that he can wear. Uh, this have blue and black in it as well. Also gray. Also he can have this to wear. Got these biker shorts as well. Four ninety eight five dollars for two pairs. So I think that's really good. Um, they have some more in there as well that I'm going to go get, um, but that's going to be later. But okay, y'all, my best friend is waiting for me outside to go with her to the store. So that's why I kind of made that really fast. Uh, but we will check back in today. I thought I was back at the house, but let me go take a run with my friend. So we'll talk later. Hey, y'all. I am back home, y'all, and how this night ended up turning into me going out, but that's what it looks like, so I'm literally, I just got home. This is the last time I picked y'all up. Oh, my best friend came, and I had to go do a run with her. Three hours later, about four shots in, and we going out. I was trying to back out of it, but... She wants me to go for some reason, and I'm like, why not? I had to come home, 
throw the flexi rods in a little bit. They're probably, my hair is probably not even going to curl because they're not going to be in there long enough to try because honestly, I did not want to um, curl my hair. Yeah, I'm going to pick y'all back up when I'm doing my makeup and getting dressed. So let me get in the shower really quick. I'll be back. So y'all, I'm about to get ready to do my makeup. I am about to do this like in a hurry because I'm late for one. So make up as fast as I can because I need to go pick up my husband's food before it gets too late. There gotta be some flaws in this makeup. Let's not forget about lashes tonight. No, I'm really not talking during this uh get ready with me because i'm trying to hurry up so y'all please bear with me like this lip i'm just doing something so y'all this is yeah i'm trying to set y'all up so i can show y'all y'all this is the fit so it's just a, a little two-piece from fashion nova Y'all, I really don't know if I like it because, I don't know. Let me just put down my hair and see how this is going to come out. This is my finished makeup. I put on deodorant before I forget. It's something that I bought to wear on a cruise. I like to just be comfortable but cute at the same time. But I'm just throwing it on now. This wig, I can't wait to take it out. Okay, let me get some earrings. Yeah, the light in my room is super dark, so. <sighs> yeah. Okay, what am I gonna wear? Accessories. I'm gonna wear my silver bag that I've been wearing all of this time, so. I'm just going to put on some silver earrings. I have purchased this when I went to that sneaker ball, so I'm just going to put these earrings on. I really want to wear this necklace too, but I feel like it's going to be too much because of how this shirt is made. y'all say necklace or no necklace necklace or no necklace hmm. Hmm. it's not my birthday okay, i'm gonna wear some mon paris tonight oh my god y'all this bracelet has already started pulling my shirt I thought I had a tennis bracelet. I do. I'm gonna take this one off. Cause this, my other dress, the dress I wore last weekend, that thing, I'm gonna put this one on. That thing tore up my dress. This necklace on would be too much. But this one. This tennis bracelet. Let's just leave the necklace off for the day. For tonight. And I'm just going to add this extra bracelet. Oh. I said I was putting on my My Paris. Oh, this is my My Paris. <laughs> this is the G-Bot um, My Paris is right here. YSL. Okay. I don't even have on my sneakers, so. I mean, I don't even have on my shoes, on my heels. So. Oh, y'all. And I thought about these, too. These are so cute. I found these in Ross for $17.99. I thought about wearing these, but I think I'm going to go with these. Bring the food back. 
Aretha, do not forget your shoe. Oh, shit. in my car I have to get a light well I have one I need to put it on matter of fact I need to grab it when I go back hi y'all this bitch we were supposed to be ready at nine o'clock it was raining it is now 928 and the house still ain't ready hmm. I don't know what she got going on like, they can't hear you. Who's she talking about, y'all? <laughs> she's about who she talking about, y'all. I'm talking about you. Be yeah, she gonna be late to her own funeral. She told she told me that I, if she go before me, I better make sure that she is the last one. To get rolled into the funeral. She want everybody to be sitting down. Waiting. Waiting. So basically she want people to come in the funeral. Sit down. Then she gonna roll in. She's so funny. I'm so ready for this. Just take this wig off. For real. What? Oh, and she said don't have her funeral in the church because she want to be cussing. She want to make a recording of her laughing and saying whatever she going to be saying. <laughs> and she want us to play that. Well, you know, I'm glad I'm making a record of this now. So, y'all hear her in the background. God, Lee nephew, don't scare me like that. What's up? What's up, nephew? Yeah. She got me in here taking shots by myself. Woo. Red Bull. Because it gives you wings. <laughs> it gives you wings of love. Mm. Especially when she's reckless. Mbe, you're my bestest friend. Yeah, she's my bestie. My love for you is endless. Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl you can spend it oh. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top alright, oh yeah I wanna know it tonight I wanna be the one to surprise you up in the morning, I wanna be the one that you call it. Yes, I see you in a future with me. I wanna meet you, not best friend and be family. I'm the storm in your dream, making wet dreams come true. She know she bad, but I don't bad. She a gun shot that blew my mind. No distance, I come by my side. Everything is green over here. Everything you want and think about. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright I like how you doing alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top of yeah, oh yeah Like how you do it alright Everything good alright, alright Like how you think alright Always on top alright, oh yeah I wanna know it tonight I wanna be the one to surprise you Wake you up in the morning I wanna be the one that you call it Cause I see you in the future with me I wanna meet you, no 
I see the dream we're chasing through and okay for me, yeah, yeah. Luckily, we're free to be first class, riding cash only, oh, yeah. I wanna know it tonight. I wanna be the one to surprise you. Wake you up in the morning. I wanna be the one that you call it. Cause I see you in the future with me. I wanna meet you. Until now